guys got the Bronco back in the shop today. And uh, last time I was driving it over here, the heater core blew on it. So uh, fog started coming in the wind chilled and then I got out of the car and <laughs> green water was hitting the, hitting the ground. So uh, luckily these heater cores in here look like they're super simple to change. Probably the easiest heater core you could ever do is one of these small Ranger frames here. Um, so uh, we'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we gotta do is get these off and these are the older factory ones and you can see that one of them here uh has the screw on the end the other one does not so we're gonna have to cut it or something so we'll see what we're gonna do about that all right guys so this is a 15 16 so we'll take this one off first because hopefully it'll be easier and i guess we're just gonna have to cut the other one and see how that works all right guys so we got the one hose off and this clamp was still not easy to deal with we finally got it off so the old clamp is broken take the dremel here try to cut it so So what I did is I cut through this part, top part here and I cut all the way through the screws and there shouldn't be anything holding it off now. So now I'm gonna try to pry it up. Yep, there we go. All right, so now let's pry it up out of the way. Gotta get this hose to break loose. All right, guys, get the hose out of the way, and there's that. Now the next thing to do is to get underneath the dash and pull off those screws. So we'll show you that. All right, guys. So under the dash here, this plastic plate right here, right in the middle of the camera, there's a couple screws up in there, like three on this side and two on the very back of it back here. That's all that has to be done. Pull those screws out, pop this thing out of here, and just push it down. So let's see if we can get those screws out. All right, guys, the next thing is pull this out. So all the screws are out. Just gonna pull it down. And uh, get up there. just pull it out of the way and then pull this out. And that's your drain for the inside of the air box and whatnot. So there we go. And that's the heater core up in there. And now what I'm going to have to have is Daddy push in from the top. And then this will just pretty much drop down. I'll try that. All right, go ahead and push. That's it. Working them on in there. Pull it out. That is super simple. All right, so here is the new one, and it's uh, all aluminum. That's the part number there. And they had this at advance, cheaper than they had it online, uh, which is pretty amazing. Um, all aluminum, the original one here is uh, brass, and it's all been kind of brazed together. So that's it. This one had this big foam pad up here, but that will obviously not fit on this. I, I took it off and it's a completely different design. So that's obviously not going there, but they send you this foam tape with it. And my guess is you tape that around it all the way around the outside, right? No, I think so. All right, so here's our heater core, these little plastic caps off, and I'm gonna feed it 
back up in there and see if we can get it pushed back through the hole. So Daddy's gonna guide me out the hood out here. All right, guys, had a little bit of a fitment issue. We're trying to figure it out and realize that this thing is too wide to go in the box and get looking at them side by side. You can tell this one's visibly smaller than this one. Um, but the tubes look pretty right, but this will not fit. So this, this part number here is not the right part number for a Bronco 2 or a Ranger. Uh, this is for F-150 or a large Bronco or an F-250. A whole bunch, whole bunch of stuff popped up. So uh, I'm going to pick up the correct one. Um, so I'll show you the part number for it when we get it. All right, here is the new one. And you can tell size-wise they look a lot closer now. Um, but the tubes on the new one seem farther apart than this one here. So we'll have to move that in a little bit otherwise we're not going to get through our holes over there uh, and then here's the part number to the one that is the correct one 398001 so that's the one you actually need there you go all right guys so now we've got the new new one and we're going to try it again you might want to back it back up a little it's kind of trying to go in the hole already Yeah, pull it back a little farther. I really can't do too much. You can't. No. Oh. Because it needs to go to the right. You're trying to go in the left hole with the right tube. So it's super tight. See the tube in there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now push in at the top of it. That's what's hard to do, ain't it? Yeah. It's going pretty close. I'm trying to keep it directed with my screwdriver. It's right at them. Can you reach your hand up in there? There you go, it's coming now. It moved in real close right then. Which way does it need to go? Uh, just straight in. Straight it, in. It may need to come up a little bit. All right, so we ended up switching. Daddy was able to push in and adjust that rubber piece on the top. And I was kind of pulling with some pliers and was able to get her in here enough to work on it. So now we just need to put the plate back on the bottom and it actually has another rubber piece on it which kind of holds up from the bottom. So we'll get it in now. All right, so we got the uh, lines. We trimmed off the old end of the line and uh, got them on there. Got new hose clamps on here. This should be it. We'll get them tightened up. All right, guys. I think that did it. No leaks up here and no leaks down there. I think good to go. And uh, I am putting this thing up for sale, so I'm uh, getting rid of it and the Dell Soul. So if any of y'all want it, let me know.